All right, let's take the next step. Let's create another example and we'll mix in some spark code in this one. Let's call this simple Scala Spark. Let's change it to an object. And let's paste in some code that I had teed up ready to go on this. You won't have this code available because it's not in your clipboard. But I'm gonna post this source code in the tutorial, so if you'd like to cut and paste it, feel free. I will call out a couple of things here. One, from a big picture, there's going to be some gotchas when I run this, so stay with me because you are likely to find these scenarios when you first start out as well, and I'm gonna show you how to deal with it. But now, back to the specifics of this code. We're going to use a, law, a file, a flat text file. You would change that, of course. I'm highlighting it here where you would change it. And then we are going to be running this against the standalone master, which I will show you for a second here. I have running on my local machine. Next, I want to call, call out a couple of things about IntelliJ and this color red. It doesn't know what these classes are because we don't have any of the Spark classes in our external library. So first things first, let's do that. Let's add the required libraries. We can go here to Project Structure or we can go over here to Project Structure. We can click Libraries and then we would hit Plus. We would say Java. We would go into our, wherever we have um, Spark downloaded. For me, where is that? Where are you? Spark here, 161. And then I'm going to click the lib directory or live directory, depending on your preference. And I'm going to add that into the super simple project. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. And... It's all ready to go. Now I should warn you, I've put this into projects before. The first time you do this, it might take a while for IntelliJ to read through all this. Don't panic. You'll see something down in this corner where it's indexing or something like that. Anyhow, the red is gone. So you might be thinking we're really close. And why not? Let's run this program and see if we are. We're down at the bottom here. Click, we are compiling it. So we'll just wait for that. And we're off and running. But there is trouble in paradise, or there is trouble wherever you're running this, if you are running it like me. In this exception, we are seeing that we have a no such method error. If you see this in your Scala code, check to see what library you are using. In particular, with Spark, by default, it is built with 2.10. And if you might recall, we're using 2.11. So how do we correct that? Go back to Project Structure. You now know that there's one. This is just one way of possible two. Let's go into SDKs. That's not it. Let's go into Global Libraries, and we can see that we're using 2.11. Let's switch this out, though. How do we do that? Well, we can hit minus and remove that. Hit plus. Scala SDK, you have it downloaded, or if you don't do it, download it and extract it like me under my development directory. I have Scala 2.10. I think I even have 2.9 from back in the day. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to add that to super simple. And now I have Scala SDK 2.10, version 2.10. I'll hit apply, hit OK. What do you say we try running this again? Now it's going to recompile. So this might take a little bit of time. 
And we're off and running further than before, and voila! We have counted the number of lines with A and B in it, and we have outputted it. So yay! We did it! So, I'm going to sign off here. Hopefully this helps.